it's currently 2 a.m but i have to make a video talking about this i've made a couple videos talking about who i think should win the most improved player award and i'm not really here to talk about that but i am here to talk about an improved player and a player who can make a huge difference on a team i don't have a title or thumbnail yet for this video so i don't know if you guys know already but it, it's ball ball if you don't know ball ball by now i really don't know where you've been a lot of people knew him since he got drafted to the denver nuggets but if you don't know him i don't blame you because he hasn't gotten a lot of playing time in his career you know he hasn't gotten a lot of opportunities and this year with orlando has really been the first year he's been given a chance to play actual minutes in games and um he's doing really good with those minutes i mean the guy is putting up 11 points only 0.5 assists but but he's also averaging almost seven rebounds and is averaging 2.1 blocks a game average which is crazy because this stat muse stat muse stat muse tweet just came out saying players have taken 96 shots versus ball ball this season he's blocked 25 of them he's blocked more than a quarter of every shot taken on him what now he also apparently has the best true shooting percentage this season at 74.7 percent and unfortunately he really showed that off during the game against my sacramento kings which in that game against the sacramento kings he shot 10 for 11 and if i'm not mistaken the one shot he missed was in the fourth quarter a majority of that game he did not miss he also grabbed seven rebounds and two assists but that's kind of beside the fact but you know my kings that you know they they won the game you know they do their thing but with everyone seeing how good ball ball has been during like this season with the magic everyone's kind of wondering what were the denver nuggets doing why did they not play him and a lot of people were wondering why he didn't get any playing time after how good he was in the bubble uh, i'm not saying he was like insane but he was a solid player in the bubble apparently there was a lot of stuff about his work ethic and, and his attitude and demeanor when it comes to when he was with the nuggets which is unfortunate to see because i feel like he could have had a really good career with the nuggets and he could have been a huge asset for them and, and really helped them out i i love seeing him on the magic I don't know what it is. I just absolutely love seeing him on the Magic. I think that I think it just fits better with the Magic being like that young guy that's getting some playing time, looking really good, and could actually be a really good piece for them in the future. I just don't think he really fits good with the Nuggets and their like situation currently, but you know. That could just be biased. Also, I'm going to go completely off the basketball topic and talk about how insane this dude's suit was. I mean, dude was picked number 44 in the draft, but he had the number one overall best suit in the whole entire draft. Like, this is crazy. Apparently, it was also designed by Young Thug, and the suit cost $100,000. Don't know where you get that money when you haven't even signed your rookie contract yet, but hey, maybe he thought he was going to go higher in the draft. I don't know, but that, that's just crazy. That, that's insane. One of the other things is I've seen people say that Ball Ball looks like Victor Wembanyama, and I'm not here to, like, rain on the parade or like say that ball ball isn't good or anything because you know he, he's still a good player but can we not just call all the new tall skinny people victor Wembanyama? like we do it all the time with kevin durant i feel like everyone is always compared to kevin durant or like derrick rose or john morant can, can we just stop can we stop i understand ball ball can shoot he can block victor Wembanyama can shoot and he can block but just just stop it man just stop it. it's so ridiculous i think player comparisons are like one of the most bizarre weird things ever because all it does is make you get so excited and think oh my god Ball Ball is like Victor Wembanyama. He should be putting up 30, 10, and 10. Which, in reality, he's not that good. Let's 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 just relax, okay? Let's, let's take a step back. Same way, I love Keegan Murray, but he's not going to be Kevin Durant. Like, let's just come on, man. Come on. I will say one of the reasons why Ball Ball is one of the greatest basketball players of all time is his favorite TV show is SpongeBob. And if that isn't your favorite TV show, I don't know what is. SpongeBob is the go to TV show. I don't know why. It's a random fact I have in my notes. Okay, don't don't. I don't know, man. I'm running I'm running out of ideas here. The Orlando Magic though have been really disappointing to me i feel like their team looks a lot better on paper than what their record is for them to only be four nine it's just disappointing to me i feel like palo bancaro is by far like the rookie of the year if he continues this like insane streak of games he's on other than that jalen Suggs has kind of been invisible and i know he's only played seven games but he, he just hasn't really been there france has been playing good i mean like i i just love their team i don't know what it is exactly I, they're, like they're not like that good of a team you know they're not like they're not even in the play-in but i just love their team I, I have really grown to love Paolo Bancaro. I wasn't a big fan of him at first because I wanted Keegan Murray to obviously win Rookie of the Year be better than him. But without, without Keegan Murray's performing recently, it, it is a little upsetting. Which, by the way, I did see why Keegan Murray isn't playing too well. Prayers out to the Murray family. Um, Just super sad what happened. I, I do want to see Paolo Bancaro win Rookie of the Year. If anyone deserves it, it's him. It would be the first time since 2016 that the uh, number one pick actually won the Rookie of the Year. Unless we're counting the um 2018 Ben Simmons thing. But... 
you know, if we're talking about actual rookie of the year, number one picks, it'd be the first time since 2016, which would be really cool to see. I think there might be a streak of the number one picks getting rookie of the year, you know, Victor Wembanyama. I know a lot of people wanted the magic to get Victor Wembanyama, but I, I really hope the Lakers get him. And you want to know why? And they're probably thinking, the Lakers are going to get him. That's why. I don't want the Lakers to get him. I want the Pelicans to get him because I want the Lakers to absolutely suffer. I will do anything in my power to make the Lakers suffer. I really don't know where this video was going. Um, I came here to talk about Ball Ball, talked about him for a couple minutes, and then kind of switched over. I don't know if this video is even going to get released, but if it does, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next video. I don't even know what this was. Little NBA ramble. Later.